I grew up in a community that what you believed was what mattered, and you could go to hell for believing the wrong thing. And I think the First Amendment basically says, listen, what makes you an American isn't what you believe. It's that you value the idea that people are allowed to believe what they want. My dad is a guy named Tony Campolo, an evangelical Christian superstar. So I grew up in that world. Interestingly enough, like I did not become a Christian through my dad. I was there, but it never really touched me until I was in high school, when a kid on my soccer team took me along to his youth group. But you hang around with all those Christian kids long enough, eventually you end up on a retreat somewhere and there's a bonfire and everybody's singing, our God is an awesome God. And that group experience, like, I felt something, you know? Like, I, I had a transcendent moment. God became real to me. And that was it for me, man. I was in. But people say to me, like, when did you begin to lose your faith in God? And I'm like, hey, five minutes after I accepted Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. And for me, the theology, like the, all the supernatural stuff and heaven and hell, that wasn't the attraction to Christianity. That was the price of admission. I always loved being part of that community and always struggled with the narrative itself until eventually you know, the narrative fell apart. A number of months later, my parents were coming out as they always do for Thanksgiving. So I knew I was gonna have to tell them. So, you know, we had Thanksgiving and kids went off to bed and everything. We're all just sitting around in the living room. And his mom, dad, I, you know, I gotta tell you something. I'm no longer a progressive Christian. Like, there's nothing left. Like, I can't believe in God anymore. My dad, his face just, he was just, and he just started moaning. He's like, oh, no. He's like, what did I do wrong? And my mom was much quieter. My mom had been a big activist in the gay Christian world sort of saying like, hey, you can't throw kids away because they're gay, like, this is fine. And I found out later on that when they went upstairs, that was what she reminded my dad of. She was like, you don't believe that either. We are sure as heck not gonna reject our kid over this. And they came down the next morning and they were like, my dad was like, I just need to understand what happened. Like, tell me about it. He had lots of questions. He was like, how are you gonna build a good life here? There was an assumption on both my parents' part that I was a good man and I would stay a good man. And that was really helpful. My mom always says, I know you're, you're really sincere about your humanism because she says, you fought so hard to try to make Christianity work. You didn't give it up lightly. People would often treat my worldview as though it were something I had chosen. And I was always sort of thinking, no, you don't understand, like, it isn't that I won't believe in God. It's that I can't. When I could, I did. 